They're saying you're a black widow. Well, I'm nothing of the kind. That means you kill your sweetheart. <laughs> Where do they get such nonsense? There must be. Now come over here. That there's a bounty hunter. Get him! Ellian, I, I'm sorry, but I... Oh, oh, kill that bounty ah! hunter! You let him get you, you dumb little boy. I guess I ought to come along with you then. Sorry about this. You're a piece of work. You're a piece of work. Now come here. Rot in hell. Rot with the rest of them. What sense is it would be rude not to rob you? You manhandle me. Beat the horse. Okay, Missy. Settle in. You got a ride ahead of you. Oh, dear. What came over me? Did I, did I just do those? Oh. Quiet with that. in your head, friend. <laughs> Welcome. What the hell? You cracked in the head or something? I'm coming up on the jailhouse. Anything else you want to try on me? Just get me there. You're no fun at all. I'm afraid I ain't. You order a... The lady killer here, Sheriff? <laughs> yeah, we did. Put her in the cell, won't you? I protest my innocence. I protest my innocence. <laughs> she might be a little shaken up. She lost another fella out by the falls. Poor dear. Man just got a habit of dying around you, don't they, Mrs. Swan? Well, I hope you're comfortable, miss. She'll be fine. Now come get your money off the desk here.
The Black Widow herself. This town's so starved for women, I'm sure she can find herself a husband yet. <laughs> That's cowboys for you. You there? Hello. You a bounty hunter? Not right now, I ain't. You Black Bell? I'd like to talk to you about your Wild West days. I don't care much for reminiscing. You got any friends as bounty hunters? None that springs to mind. Well, then you done led them boys here, and you none the wiser. Oh. Those bounty hunters. Knew my luck had run out sooner or sooner. Just go inside. I'll tell them you're gone. Oh, no, no. I ain't hiding from them scalp hunters. Not running from them, neither. And fighting? Yeah, if it's just me against them, <laughs> that'd be a waste of time and nitroglycerin. You know what I can do. You want that Wild West story, don't you? Yes, I do. All right. Get up here, quick. Now, when I give you the word, hit that. Whole place is wired. Black Bell! I got a contract here for your life or your liberty. We'd sooner it be liberty. That's mighty reasonable, mister. Come here, let me take a look at it. Come on. Oh, come on. Stop just there. Now, set it off. Thank you. 
get them scalp hunters off your back. Uh, for now. For now. So, you gonna tell me about your Wild West days? Running with Jim Boy Calloway? Little Boy Calloway? <laughs> the only running he did was away from a fight. And that's about the end of it. He's apparently a famous gunslinger. Yeah, so they say. But, uh, don't get what's famous confused with what's true. The ones of us that lived that life, we was too busy being scared for our scalp to talk to no newspaper writers or dime novel men. Here. What were they like then? Them days they all talk about. Hmm. Same as now, I guess. Only longer ago. <laughs> I guess so. I'm gonna need to get a photograph of you if it ain't too much of a trouble. No, sir, no trouble at all. Can't be worse than those awful drawings on the wanted posters. <laughs> Great. You, uh, stay there. I'll get this thing figured out. Uh, ready? How do you want me? Like this? Okay. You got it. Well, I guess I'll be on my way. Thank you, Mrs. Bell. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna be all right? Oh, been running for 20 years. Suppose I'll be running till I drop. Just the way it is. Good luck. <laughs>
Ma'am, I'm so sorry. Would you be interested in some friend competition? I've come all the way north from Mexico to challenge a real American gunslinger. Uh, you I'm him? no gunslinger, all right. But I do like a challenge. What are you thinking then? Okay, man. That's what I like to hear. Look, man, rules are simple, okay? Whoever shoots more of these bottles wins. Just draw your gun and aim when you're ready, all right? <laughs> Just a better shot, I suppose. Uh, uh, that didn't make me happy at all. How about we raise the stakes, huh? Come on. Could right. win real big, Let's huh? Aha, uh -huh. that's a good call, amigo. All right, real simple. First one. Four flying birds wins. Turn near me, and as soon as they come out, it's be patient. Ah! There they go! Shoot!
Man of my word. Well, your choice and your goal. I have my eye out for you. Maybe we'll run into each other again. Yeah, maybe. I'm always interested in a good competition. Desgraciado! What are you doing? Yo, santo! You're gonna regret this, I swear it! Let's see what you got in here. Okay. But don't run away! Oh. Hey, whoa! Keep your distance, friend. These bodies ain't safe to be around. What's wrong with them? Aside from being dead. You ain't heard about the cholera plague in Armadillo? Most of the towns either died or up and left. <clears throat> so, why are you burning them? It's what the town folk want. Trying to stop the spread. Terrible business. But lucrative, I have to say. This is madness, damn it, let me go! Mind if I check your pockets? That should help, huh?
Let's go, girl. For you, sir. If it wasn't for you, whoo, how lucky we are. The hero we so required. Armadillo is indebted to you. Though I fear it may be beyond saving. I don't know what you made of that, but it was a close thing. And in light of that, and the sad demise of this settlement, I am resigning my post. Now you will see that I've packed my valise. But the accoutrements of my profession remain in my desk. Glad I was able to help you out of that, Sheriff. Said you won't stick around. Well, so long. I must see about a train. I don't got the key. I swear. You, please. Help me. Shut your mouth. Keep traveling, mister. Nothing of interest for you here. And even you have saved my life I can't thank you enough whatever is in that box is yours I, I'll explain the loss far as I'm concerned you earned it I was waiting for you to say that
You have a... your shells! <laughs> Good one! We told you we find you! Do I waste my time? Why? <sighs> you okay, buddy? Fantastic. You Americans are nothing but shysters and traitors and slippery tongue bull suckers. Huh. I'm inclined to agree. Ah, here, help me, please. Back to work with a bloody smile. <laughs> no problem, Marco. You are the great genius, so we shall the hot poker up the ice. Say thank you, Marco. Thank you. Oh, thank you. What are you, uh, European toy maker? No, I am a fucking genius with poker up the ice, like I say. <laughs> toy maker. 
Hello. Do I look like I should entertain children? No. No, he says. No. <laughs> I am the savior of the mankind, buddy. Yes. You meet him. Professor Marco Dragic. <laughs> the one the silver tongue American betray and, and not pay the money to. Yes. He told to shit, man. Okay. What's the toy about? It is not a toy, Big Nuts. It is demonstration of my genius. Of my ideas about the source of life. Huh? A toy boat? Yes, it is a toy boat that I can power remotely using electricity and waves you cannot see. Oh, good for you. <laughs> waves I cannot see. And still the investors will not come. Just a couple of old ladies and a moron. <laughs> ladies, please. <laughs> Ladies! <laughs> Gentlemen! Oh, <laughs> something. Yes. Hello. Hello, sir. <laughs> okay. Uh, how is the piles? Yeah? Good, good, good. Okay. My friends, you are about to witness history. A demonstration of my infinite insight. All of us, we feel old. You. You are old. Oh. But maybe I can make you immortal. Mm. <laughs> Using waves you cannot see, I will power this You're boat. a goddamn fraud. And this buffoon dressed up like a buffoon is a stoolie. I watch them conspire, you morons. What? I never met this buffoon before two minutes ago. Isn't that right? Which part of it? So, Professor. Show us your magical toy boat. Only this time, let the buffoon control it. Check if there's any funny business. This ain't got nothing to do with me. Come, please, please. It is easy. Any moron could do it, and I am about to prove that. Here, take this, and this, and... Uh, don't touch that. Use these ones to steer, and this one to shoot torpedoes, okay? Yes, now, now blow up the little battleships and, and avoid the zeroes. They have magnets attached. Make a nasty explosion if they touch the bottom. Okay! If this silly dimwit can use torpedoes on boats to destroy the battleships, imagine what technology can do in the hands of certified genius! And I have certificates. Hey! It's doing what I'm telling it. Of course it is doing. Now tell it to do closer to battleship and shoot with torpedo. <laughs> the mines, they're magnetized, remember? You see what he does? No wire like telegraph, no pulley system underwater, only waves in the air. This is remarkable. Think of those poor boys on the HL Hunley. Eight of them perished to a mere five on the Housatonic. And what a way to go. Trapped in a box at the bottom of the bay. I suppose you intend to make an unmanned killing machine? You misunderstand. This is the secret to life. Not death. The transmigration of the soul. I make lifeless metal breathe like man. Well, I'm not sure about that. All gone for you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you see what he does? Now bring the boat back to the dock. That sure was something. <laughs> Let me just reload her. <laughs> this is really remarkable. This is just a, a demonstration of my prowess, sir. <laughs> the real miracles require investment. <laughs> ah. Now the dimwit will use invisible waves to destroy the little sailing boats before they get to other side of pond, still avoiding magnetic mines. Or he'll attempt to, at least. Shush! You're not here for this smart talk. The steam train, the telegraph machine, the motor car. 
They will all seem pedestrian in comparison to this technology. We are not reliant on wires or coal or gasoline. No, just rays in the air. Like the voice of God. And funding from us? And funding from you, of course. But what thing to fund? What an opportunity! No one is stupid enough to pass this up. Not even him with here. Hey, you really all work on your salesmanship. Ha! Americans, all you think about is sales! <laughs> Two rules of sales. <laughs> very good, very good! Now bring in the boat back. <laughs> and then, as I say, any fool, huh? Thank you, thank you. What is that? It is the stuff of life, sir. <laughs> It's incredible. No, no, no. Incredible things are in my lab, back at Dover Hill. <laughs> that will astound all of you. <laughs> Mr. Marcel, can I count on your support? Well, this is expensive. <laughs> it is immortality, sir. It is, it is very cheap. Perhaps over lunch. Maybe. I'm gonna go. Oh, yeah, of course. And, and thank you. Um, if you're ever up near Dover Hill, pay me a visit. Uh, there, I will really amaze you. Um, <clears throat> I hope you will forgive my 